Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to create icons from things such as pictures or other files on your computer such as executables and then apply them to things like your shortcuts and your folders and that type of thing. So it's called Quick Any2 Ico or ICO. So there's nothing to install, it's just an executable so you just double click it to run it. So you have several tabs up here for single icon creation, batch icon, utilities and then activation. So this is the free version. So there is a pay for version. So if you want extra features or if you want to be able to do more conversions, you could try the pay for version. All right, so we'll just show you a couple examples here. All right, so this one here under the single icon creation. So select a source, you could do a file or folder, a binary resource or an application window. So let's say we have Edge open here. Get this front of it here. You could just drag it to that window, and now you have the icon for Edge, just like that. So you could do that with other windows as well. So if you do the any file or folder, let's browse to a picture, for example. So when doing the uh, pictures, if it's not square, you're going to have to either stretch it or crop it, so keep that in mind. So let's say we want to do this trail right here. So you can see there's our preview. So you can center it, crop it, or stretch it, however you like. And then you have some size options here. And then the destination, just pick a location. Let's say the uh, desktop here. And just give it a name. It'll put a .ico at the end. And then click on convert it. And so now we have that. So let's say we wanted to change our icon for this app here. Just right click on it, click on properties and go to shortcut. So it has to be a shortcut to change the icon. You can't change the icon for a actual file. So change icon here. We can just browse to it. All right, and then there is our new icon for that file. Then you also have the option to save as a PNG if you want to do that instead. All right, so the batch icon creation so if you want to extract some icons from an EXE, DLL, or ICL and save them to a folder, you could do that. So let's say we're going to save it from this executable file here. I'll save this on our desktop. Click on Start. So you can see in demo mode, max of three icons can be created at a time. So that's fine. So now we have an icon file for this actual executable right here. Then you can also do this option here if you want to convert icons from pictures. So let's go to the pictures here. Let's take some car pictures here. So we'll just pick the folder. And we'll put it on the desktop. Make a new folder for this one here. Like so. Okay, so we're taking the pictures from the cars pictures folder and making icons out of them and putting in them in this folder here. So click on start. So you can see once again, you get that warning. So now we go here and now we have the four icons that it allowed us to make with the free version. Then we could use these for whatever we want. Then up here you have some utilities. So set a folders icon from any file. Okay, so we'll pick an icon file here. Let's say we'll do this car icon here. And the folder we're going to change, let's do this vacation folder here. Now one thing to keep in mind, if something doesn't change, you could clear your icon cache and try it again if you want to do that. All right, let's apply it. All right, so now our vacation folder is an icon of this car instead of the folder icon, which makes it kind of hard to tell it's a folder, but it's just another option you could do if you like it. Then you have your activation screen. If you actually buy the program, you could uh, put in your license key there. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice app here if you want to just easily make some icon files, you know, from pictures or extract icons from applications and that type of thing. So I will put a link in the description where you could download Quick Any2 ICO and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.